Welcome back to Blender for Blogs. I'm Justin, and this is a part of a video editing series all about using Blender to edit videos for your blogs. You can check out all the videos by going over to uh, blenderfrenzy.com, and you can check out the whole website here. But if you scroll down, uh, you can watch the promo video showing everything we're going to cover. And here's the Blender for Blogs section. You can click on the videos here or view all take you to all the videos. You can also get a free video editing cheat sheet with uh, my all of my setup uh, that I use in Blender plus a list of all the shortcuts that I use. Um, if you put your name and your email, check the box, hit subscribe, you'll get an email and then check that email, confirm the subscription and it'll give you a password that you can take here to fren Frenzy Freebies and you just type in the password right here and it will get you uh, over to all the freebies that I offered. Right now it's only two, but I will be continuing to add to all of those, uh, which is pretty cool. You can get those. Or you can go over to uh, YouTube, type in Blender Frenzy, and uh, go to my Blender Frenzy YouTube channel to see all of the videos as well. Okay, well, let's get started. Uh, this video is about alternate methods of cutting out un unwanted footage. So that's phase one, is what we just finished. And it's all about cutting out the unwanted footage. And I showed you my preferred method. So just a quick recap. Uh, we imported our original footage here with our um, original audio and video and then our microphone audio, lined those up. And then we made a full copy here to our cut one. And then we cut out all of the unwanted footage and then we hit it and moved it up here or you can move it down it doesn't really matter and we kept all of the the footage we're going to use uh, down here at the bottom and we kept it visible uh, and then and, and the reason we did it this way is so we could keep uh, the unwanted footage in case we wanted to use it for like outtakes and we kept uh, everything in the same position so this um, this frame here 5439 I'm going to control copy with my mouse over that going to the original control paste is the exact same frame so we haven't moved the video at all um, that's the purpose of doing it like that and then we made a copy of the cut one into our cut two and this is where we deleted all of our unwanted footage and we um, deleted all of the spaces in here so we can make a, a nice video that ran together smoothly uh, where we also tweaked uh, each of these um, cuts to our liking. As a side note, uh, you notice that all of my cuts I've just made and I've smashed them together. There are no transitions. But don't worry because I will be adding transitions later. The purpose of this phase is to cut out all the unwanted footage in order to create the smallest file possible so that we can use that to remove the green screen in phase two. Once the green screen is removed, then we can create an image sequence that will overlay on top of a background, which is, will begin phase three, and that's the bulk of our video editing. And that's where we will add uh, all of our transitions and our audio, our extra audio and video and text and graphics and all the fun stuff. So don't worry about that. We will get into tr transitions. And uh, that is the way I like to do it. Uh, again, it keeps the footage in the same position. It keeps the, uh, we can always fall back on the cuts if we need to adjust anything here at all. However, there are a couple of other methods that you can do, and I'm going to show you those right now. So uh let's see here so let's go back to our original footage let's make a full copy and let's name it method two so this will be method two of how you can cut out unwanted footage so i'm going to select the audio by uh, selecting and then shift selecting the the both of them hit x erase strips select this one g y move up click to place it there and then we're going to zoom in here to the beginning to find the beginning I think that's here okay so past that sigh and right there uh, let's maximize this by shift spacebar and then what I want to do is select these two handles shift s and that snaps it right there and then what I'm going to do is go back go to find my next cut which i believe is right here 
Yeah. So. Okay, so this is going to be my first cut. And with the handlebars selected, uh, my mouse cursor over on this side of the playhead, I'm going to hit K. And what's that, what that's going to do is going to make a cut and keep these selected, but also keep the handlebars selected. And that's important because the next cut we're going to do, because we're going to basically from here to where we come in again, we're going to cut out all of that in between. So let's find where we come in again. I think that's right there. So I want to cut out from here to here, shift S. There we go. And we just, um, instead of making a cut, hiding this footage and moving it up, we've just dragged these from here all the way to here. And basically that's just sliding those, cutting out all that footage that we don't want. So shift S just snaps it right to that playhead. Okay, so we just keep doing that. So we find uh, the next place we want to cut, which is after I make a big sigh here again, and then right before I turn, doo -doo -doo, right there. Don't have to be accurate now, just kind of demonstrating it. And then again, we want to hit K with our mouse over on this, the right of the playhead, K. Uh, if we don't, if we have it on the left and we hit K, then it's going to select these. And that's not what we want. We want to have it on the right over here, K selects these and the handlebars. Okay, where we come in. I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. We'll just do it for here for now. And shift S. And so basically you keep doing that. And just to demonstrate this just real quickly, over here, K. And then let's see right here, shift S. Just back and forth, K, shift S, K, shift S. Uh, let's see where we want our next cut to start. Do and then shift S, and then you just keep going down your footage and doing that. And um, <clears throat> this method is going to be for those who uh, don't want to um, keep uh, the unwanted footage here. You don't want to keep that on the screens at all, so you just cut it out. But you still want to keep the exact frame as the original here. So method two. Uh, now this frame here, 7790, control C to copy that. And then go to your original, control V to paste it. You see it's the still the exact same position because we haven't moved the audio or video footage at all. We've just cut. Uh, but th this way, it's a little bit faster because we're not, you know, you know, cut, hide, move, cut, hide, move. We're just cut, shift S, cut, shift S. So it's a little bit, it'll speed up your progress and still keep it accurate. And another thing here um, is, let's say we do want to um, add something back in. So let, let's say uh, we want to add 6988 back in over here from the original did I copy that right yeah so here we want to actually add that part back in uh, what we can do is just take this and extend it out and there we go we, we keep that in there now let's say we want to keep that cut still too and we just want to add a small portion back in over here uh, let's undo that uh, what we can do is take this, shift D to duplicate it, hit Y to constrain it up and down. And now we can um, take these, shift S to snap it or grab it. Maybe we want to extend it here like this and then take these. And maybe this is, we just want a small portion here like this. All right, grab on the Y, move it down just like that. And this way it's going to be a little bit easier to uh, add or remove footage uh, again because everything is in the same place. But if you don't care about keeping the strips in the original positions, um, you can do method number three. So let's go to the original, make another full copy, rename it method three, select, shift select, X to delete, grab on the Y, move that up. Okay, go to our beginning. Let's find our beginning. Okay, welcome to Blender for Blogs right there. 
we go shift s just like we did in method two and then we want to um, make sure we select those shift right arrow snap those to the beginning select this one g to grab move it over to where it has a red border click and it will snap it to the end there and come back down here and we can start uh, we're going to do the same method or we're going to do the same thing as in method two where we find our next cut come on mouse over here k find where we come back in it's right here shift s just like we did in method two but in this method we move our playhead back over here hit backspace and here we've just eliminated that space right away so that we can now see the immediate results of our cut and we can adjust it accordingly playhead over here backspace to cut or remove the the space All right, and then you just keep doing that. So we select the handlebars right before I turn, hit K, and I come back in over here, shift S, playhead over here, backspace. And again, this is going to be, if you don't care about the positioning of the, uh, of the strips, then you can uh, see your immediate result of your cut. Now, after you have deleted that space, in order to adjust these, uh, let's say I wanted to extend these again, remember, uh, it can't just do this. Uh, so we can do our select all strips to the right, which is our shift right bracket, so shift right bracket, and then select these and hit G, and you can adjust it then. And remember, that's going to move those handlebars along with all of these strips that you selected to the right. Now, just tonight when I was uh, getting ready to record this tutorial, I actually found out a really cool way to actually extend those um, instead of doing it like this. So um, like this, we have to do our shift right bracket and then select both of these. A faster way is to Put the playhead in the middle of the strips you want to extend. Hit A a couple of times to make sure you have all of them selected. And now with your mouse cursor on this side of the playhead, hit E and you have the same exact effect. So if we scroll out, my mouse is on this side of the playhead, hit E. Oh, look at that. And now you don't even have to worry about selecting the strips to the right or to the left. What determines whether it's to the right or to the left is the placement of the mouse cursor. So on the right, if I hit E, it extends that. But on the left, if I hit E, then it extends it to the left, which is awesome. And it does that for every cut. So if I do the through the first cut, I just put the playhead in the first cut, hit E, and then it extends the first one, or E this way. Or if I'm in here, hit E, it extends this one or on this side e it extends that over there which oh my gosh uh that's going to save me so much time and the reason is because if i come in here and i want to just real quickly adjust these what i was normally doing was um either you know again selecting to all, all strips to the right selecting these g move and that's only moving these, but let's say I wanted to move these, well then I'd have to, okay, select all, all strips to the right, I have to press G to drag that out, select these, G to drag this in here a little bit, and then maybe this here just a little bit, press back, backspace. That is a lot of work where all, I have to, all I'd have to do is select all of them, and then if I wanted to adjust this one, uh, make sure the playhead is in this strip on this side, E, to drag that this way, and then playhead on this side, uh, E, 
to drag that this way. E to drag that this way. And that is so much easier. Um, and that's going to uh, move everything. So let's say I have this duplicated a couple times. So because I'm selecting all of them, it's not just the strips that are lined up here. Um, let's see, where am I? Okay, here. And if I wanted to extrude E, it's, it's moving everything, which is nice because then that means it keeps the placement of everything that you have over here just as you want it. So it doesn't change anything. So it's not just sliding these and then these get out of sync. So it's really cool. I really like that. I'm probably going to start using that for when I have to adjust. Um, I'm still going to use our method one, the method that I showed you um, in our other videos. But when it comes to sliding and adjusting these, I'm definitely going to be using the um, uh, select all and E. Because, I mean, it even keeps that that space there if I want to keep that space. So um, that's really cool. All right, so those are a couple different methods that you can use. So with that said, let's get on to phase two with our green screen removal. Woo!